Hey what's up everyone and I welcome you again into this video. This is Pasha Media and inside of this video I'm going to show you guys how you can use a video as a desktop wallpaper whether you're using Windows 11. I am using Windows 11 myself but you can use this also on Windows 10. I think it also works with Windows 8 but so far I have tested this on Windows 11 and Windows 10. So without wasting time let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is just go to Google and on Google you type www.push-entertainment.com but at the same time also if you're a person who is not a fan of typing then I listed the link in the description so you can just click on the link description and it will take you there. So in the meantime I'll type www.push-entertainment.com and then I press enter and then it will take me to this website so once I'm on this website all I need to do is just go to video wallpaper and then I'll scroll down and click here where it says download video wallpaper and then I click download and then I'll once the download is done, which is 19.4 megabytes, all I need to do is just double click on it. And then the installation of the app will start. Accept and install. And then once the installation is done, you click finish. And then as soon as you click finish, you will get this pop-up window. Now this pop-up window allows you to select a video that you would like to use as uh, a video wallpaper on this demo list you will see that there will be uh, a youtube video there will be video for videos most likely but on my one is empty because i'm just reinstalling this app just for the demonstration purpose so as you can see that we went on the website we downloaded the app we have done the installation it's very quick and then at the same time now we have got this pop-up interface that allows us to select so here i'm gonna click where it shows this plus button that is now if i have the video in my computer in my next video i'm gonna show you how you can use a youtube link to use it as a video wallpaper as well but this video is specifically made for videos that are already inside of your computer if you want to use them as a wallpaper on your desktop inside of Windows 11 okay so uh, I'm gonna click where it says plus and then here I've got two videos I've got a video of this good-looking cat and also I've got a video of my uh, YouTube channel intro video so first I'm gonna click this cat and then I'll say add to playlist and then once I added that and then I'm also gonna add another video you can add as many videos as you want you can add 4 10 15 videos it doesn't matter but for demonstration purpose I'm gonna add these two videos and then I'll select that intro video there and then I'll also add it to the playlist all right so what if I close this you notice that the video is already playing on my desktop so this is my desktop uh, I can go to maybe I can open an application let's say maybe I can open my pictures maybe I can open a folder it does not affect the video will still be playing now the idea behind this uh, video wallpaper software is that maybe you can create a video that advertise products and then you just leave it playing on your desktop or else if you want to um, create videos that you want to advertise maybe in the city as a billboard then you can use this software because the only thing you will be required to do is just to hide your taskbar so if I go to my taskbar settings and then I go to taskbar behaviors then I can just automatically hide the taskbar 
and then what that is gonna do is is gonna allow the video to be playing full screen so if this was an advertisement that you would like maybe to be playing inside of your shop or maybe inside of your city or somewhere on a billboard then the only thing you need is just a computer and maybe a projector or maybe a big screen that you can use and this video is just gonna be playing i have seen this in uh, a lot of malls like when i go to a lot of malls inside of cape town because i'm i myself i'm coming from cape town this video is being made in cape town uh when i go into the city i see a lot of malls they have got videos that are playing endlessly and i used to ask myself how do they do it then i discovered that they are just using a video wallpaper so the next thing that you might want to think if you would like to do such kind of things then basically also hide your um, desktop icons so how do we hide our desktop icons inside of uh, windows 11 or windows 10 or any type of windows is basically by right clicking on the desktop and we go to view where it says show desktop icons we uncheck that then that means you have got a desktop that is fully functional but it's just the video that is playing so if i want to do something i can still do it because my taskbar is just hidden i can come here and uh, work while the video is playing in the background but if it's just uh, specifically a computer for advertisement then i would suggest that you hide your icons but also you auto hide your taskbar with that said then definitely i will need to um, bring back my taskbar because i like to use it a lot so just for demonstration at least you have the idea and also maybe i can bring back my uh, taskbar icons but you can see that the video is playing on my desktop as a wallpaper not as a media player so the next thing you can also try to do is you can double click on that and then you can go into the settings of this application whereby if your video has got sound you can add the sound But if you really don't want the sound, then I normally leave it muted. If you want to skip a video, you just press next. But since it's a wallpaper, I don't think it's necessary that you be placing skip or pause. Sometimes maybe you don't want the video to be playing for distraction purpose. So you can just pause the video. Then the wallpaper will still be there, but it won't be playing. But what you can do, normally I like to leave it playing. Or else maybe if the video is distracting to your workflow then you can just press stop then it will stop it will come back to its normal windows wallpaper that was there before and if you feel like you're done working you can just play it and then it will continue playing when you left off but other than that you can still go to uh, settings now the thing that i must also tell you here is inside of the setting bars you can see that you might want to enable this so that every time your computer switches off uh, this application starts together with windows so you enable that and then maybe you also need to get to the settings of this application very quick so you might also want to put it on uh, on your uh, taskbar which means you are able to see it somewhere here but at the same time also for smooth videos you might want to enable crossfade that is also perfect and uh, the additional feature that you might want to look up to is now the same idea of also making your screen savers videos so if you go to screen saver settings you will see that um, i've got 15 minutes to wait for my screen savers to pop what i can do is maybe i can just adjust that to 10 on my screen saver list all i need to do is click on this drop down menu and select push video screen saver and then now i can go into the settings of that specific screen saver and then i can also choose which videos to play so there is a chance that the screen savers can be different videos and your desktop can also be totally a different video depending on your settings all right so with that said that means if i wanted uh maybe my screen saver just to be one video then what i can do is i can take out one of these videos here just by clicking minus so if you want to add a video you click plus if you want to remove a video you add minus okay so it means on my screen saver i will only see that i won't see the cat video like uh it is on my desktop right now 
okay so then once that is done then you close and then you apply remember to apply because if you don't apply the screen server will not take effect and then from there you click okay now the last most important part is this is a trial version i downloaded this just for the demonstration of this um this video but there are times that it will show up on display that you are using a trial version so if you don't want distractions like that all you need to do is enter a license key which you can buy from the website once you are here you can buy this uh, application for eight dollars on its own but if you want to buy with extra videos and all that stuff then you might get it for 17 dollars so catch me again in my next video where i'll be explaining how you can use a youtube link as your video wallpaper all right so with that said i'll see you guys in my next video cheers